ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fright Night. What's up, what's up? How you doing, everybody? Took a couple days off, did a whole lot. Got a lot coming, a lot planning a lot. You know, watched WrestleMania. Um, Gunther lost the Intercontinental title. Enough! Hey, but on the flip side, Cody Rhodes is the champ. Either way, today we got a Fright Night video. I got five videos queued up. We gonna get into this. It's been a minute. It's been over a week since the last one. I know I usually do them like every other day. Nah. Oh man, it's a burger. Happy Meat Hi, Farms. Hi, I'm Ramona Bynes, Ramona. founder of Happy Meat Farms. Okay. Ever since I was a little girl, I was an animal lover, and I'm so proud to Wait. have created a place where animal- You're an animal lover, but you got a meat farm? Some ain't right where, I don't know what it is. Can be treated right. But she... Oh. So proper, welcome to the Happy Meat Farms HR orientation. Video, experience, huh, hold on. Y'all done gave me a beat. We working with meat. Today you have one job at HR. Mm. Feed mother, cause I'm running far. Oh, okay. You will receive an asset from R&D. Ah, what is that? Uh, what is that? Don't worry, we gonna scurry. The asset is sedated and cannot harm you, probably. What the world is this? There's just three rules you need to know before we begin. This junk is crazy. Hey, don't touch anything. Don't have, don't have to tell me twice. What's number two? Don't look at anything. Don't have to tell me twice. Even though how, have fun. Okay, let's take a look inside, shall we? Oh! They killing him! Welcome to the HR. There's so much to explore. Please pay close attention as we make our way to Mother. This is kind of crazy. The whole room. Full of holes. Okay. Given. What else? The, the hair room. Okay. Full of hair. Gross. Yeah. That teeth room. I know y'all saw that. The flesh room. Bro. What is this place? Real flesh. Mouse traps. The rat room. There's a rat in here somewhere. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. The room with the yellow balloon. Don't go in there. Are you having fun yet? I'm having a lot of fun. And it's mainly the soundtrack that's going crazy. Now we have the best time. Now maybe the best time to take a bathroom break. Okay. Ah, oh, the butterfly room. Don't let them out. Okay. The drawing room. Fun. Yeah, that looks insane. I'm. Bro, what? It's half a horse. <laughs> what? Uh-uh, the pink room. Cool. Yeah, there's some trafficking going on. The cow room? Feel free to take a snack. This way to mother. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. I don't know why you had to stop my celebration, though. This next area is a little damaged. An asset escaped here and made quite the mess. Oh, oh, dang, man. Are those, that's what you're calling dogs? I call those demons. Don't worry, they don't bite. The IT department, or IT department. Um, oh. We don't talk to Jared. What'd Jared do? I'm sorry, I can't show you that. Why not? Or that. Why? What? Oh, who was that? The men in black? We've arrived. Mother. Mummy. Mummy. Okay. Mother, am I allowed to enter? Don't tell me you're messing with that guy again. Y'all, y'all singing this gusher? Who is that? Hey! Hope it did. Dang, hey. Well done. Hey. Oh I, oh, I brought that to it. Okay. The 
HR orientation video experience is complete. Mother is pleased. Yay! Thank you so much for supporting us at Happy Meat Farms. We're so glad to have you as a part of our family, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. It's not me. Oh! This next one is called Unleashed FNAF VHS by Dravy. Let's get to it. And we're back at this place. Why do we keep, why do people keep coming back here? Does nobody know how to just leave something alone? Because if, if this was me, every location would have been subject to arson by now. Okay, the gang's all here. Hi guys. Now stay over there, hey man. I keep the pure life on deck. I'm gonna short circuit your whole system if you run over this way. Take one step, the line is drawn, homie. Uh, whatever's about to unleash, don't get put in the coffin. I kill you twice. I don't care about no purple guy, bro. The purple guy answers to me as sir. Right, so ah, okay. boss has told me to just start recording every night shift I have when I come in here. I'm not really the sure security why, guards. I just kind of clean the place around. Or with the um, janitor. Maybe because Foxy's been out of order for a little bit and just been acting really weird. Oh. He should be in the storage room right now, but I'm just getting ready to leave. Foxy's the always so, out of service. Yeah, time to leave. Foxy's like a Range Rover, man. He can't stay on the road for night. Uh, hey! Who was that? God dang them big footsteps. Them big hefty steps. Oh! Hey! Dang! My Mac! Uh, find somewhere to hide? I don't know. What are you doing? That's the best place. Dang. You mean to tell me she caught up to you that quick, bro? She got three joints. How? Ugh. Ugh. I can't see. Did you just, like, roll over the table? What did that gain you? Okay. Dang! She's going through the woods? Don't you gotta be connected to the Wi-Fi or something, bro? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Okay. That was a nice little scare. There's a little chuckle. Where did she go? Oh! Alright, Afton. So, as you can tell, there's been a lot of recent... Uh... I got a cramp. <laughs> tragedies at these establishments. So that's why we have brought this case to you as the co-founder of Freddy Bowser's Pizza. So now, is this Henry or William? This I said co event we believe to have happened around two nights ago at the newer location by Scott River. It was around 7.26 a.m. Mm -hmm. They found a body located less than 300 feet away from the building in the woods. This guy's yeah. body had nothing on him but a flashlight. After finding this, we had an employee let us search around the building, where in the office we found the suspect's wallet and car keys, which showed us he was one of your employees. His name was uh, Nate Bridges. Nate now, Bridges. Now, the damage on the body seemed to be main, but also surely wasn't a wild animal that could have done this to him. Right. Detectives believe it was one of the animatronics that could have done this. <laughs> now, why would you think that seriously? Well, Yo, voice actors I mean, terrible. Else that would have caused this what did they get? So tell me. And how much did they pay? The robots going around and taking people's lives. I don't think it's the robots, sir. There's, there's no way. Got him a fifteen and dollar gift card to Chili's. Do you think that? Because those things can't even kill people. It's not even possible. William, 
your son. Oh, this is Evan, William. What about him? It kills this him. This is the guy that and answers that, to me. all those kids go missing and employees are dying. Oh, how dare you bring him into this? Oh. Dude, I'm sorry. I've had enough of your shit already. <laughs> Yo! He blasted the cop. I should have listened. Maybe things would have ended differently. Had you not applied, but I am not dead. I'm still trapped. What do you mean? I can't see. Your soul's trapped? I could for some time. But, but I could for some time. Yeah, reading. I thought he was him. The one. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, uh, my. What? I'm, my dog isn't dead. That's Princess Quest. Um, they're catching on, but I know what to do. I have to kill someone. Someone special. Look behind me. But first, I have to dismantle them. You notice how the the, the, the them it was brown, blue, yellow, and orange. And, hey. This next one is called EAS Scenario Skynet by Equilibrium Films. Let's get to it. Max Headroom? What are we doing? What's he doing? Okay. SpongeBob! Do you want red scent? Dirty heavy? Oh. Hey! Bro, what? Strategic Air Command is issued a national emergency, August 29th, 97 to 2.14 a.m. Dang, imagine waking up at a 2 in the morning and hearing this. Oh. Oh. Do not be alarmed. Oh. This is Lieutenant General Robert Brewster of the United States Air Force. Okay. We are currently experiencing issues with our military defense system. This system has been developed by Cyberdyne Systems. Right. Please stand by as we will inform you of any further updates. Right. At this moment, we have lost all control of military operations. <gasps> we would like to assure the country oh. that we will do everything in our power to keep you safe. No, you won't. You don't care. Imagine a school system where children in Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles. Why they put the black kid for Chicago? I know what you're doing. I know what you're trying to say. Respect, O Block. Kobe? Shaq! That's not Shaq. Who is that? That is not Shaq. And I know it's not because he wouldn't have made that even with that. Oh, okay. And we're back with the emergency alert. Strategic Air Command, you know, the same junk. Is this one at 6 10 a.m., though? Okay. What? This is not a drill. Oh. All residents of Los Angeles County are instructed to go directly to the health department at 277 South Atlantic Boulevard. Um. Pickups will be every 15 minutes at the University of Southern California. What? Emergency evacuation in progress. Oh. Head immediately to your nearest emergency oh. service shelter. Military troops will be there to meet you. Bring your photo ID and no more than one baggage item per person. Be aware oh. of your surroundings. Remain alert. Yeah. Russia done blew us up. Dang. Seek shelter now. Air raid? So they lost control of the military. So I'm guessing whoever took control just decided to just blow us up. I don't know. This is not a drill. As of 2.14 a.m. EDT this morning, nuclear arsenal have been fired against Russia. Middle Eastern and North Korean territories. This no! is not a drill. We are in a state of emergency and the countries previously mentioned have declared war on the United States. Yo. Middle East, Russia, North Korea. How 
You bombed him first. And now, y'all, you want us to seek shelter? Children and women, if you have been rejected from shelter, Ooh. you must find alternate means of protection. Too late to seek shelter. Yep. This is why I want to get a private jet. I need a G5 Gulfstream. Uh, cause you ain't stopping me. Want that? Am I get? I'm gonna get one, and I'm gonna learn how to fly. This is not a. Trail. And I'm gone. It is too late to seek shelter. Ooh. All bunkers will be sealed. Ooh. If you are in a personal bunker, they didn't give nobody no time. This time will guarantee death. They didn't give nobody no time. They said, <laughs> "Hey, total. Hey, go find some shelter, man. They're about to blow us up." Alright man, it's too late. Safe to leave shelter. Is it? Is it? Let's be honest with ourselves. Just listen to how this junk sound. This is not a drill. Ah! Nuclear radiation has passed. You that may quick? leave shelter now. That quick? This is not a drill. Dang! You may be vulnerable indoors. Leave shelter immediately. Don't be beating on my door. Is that gunshots or is that somebody beating on the door? Okay, so that wasn't sent by the U.S. government. Kim Jong-un having fun over there. Shelter. Who is breathing? Stop! This is a distress signal from Sergeant Griggs of the United States Marines. We were told to keep this information confidential. The Skynet defense system intended to protect us is responsible for the nuclear warfare. No kidding. We just sent out an emergency broadcast urging citizens to come out. Stay in your shelter. Skynet contains AI that allows... It's gone rogue! Places. Stay hidden. We'll try to find as many citizens as we could. The defense has gone rogue with AI. Got to You're alive. We got the Mandela catalog voice. Ugh. Rubber skin. What is that? I gotta figure out how to get this voice, man. If there's a text to speech somewhere that I could do. Dang! Alternates. Mm. Yo. <laughs> who is? I know who that is. I know who the dude is. That's the home intruder. That's the I'm inside your house. Who the dog? Dang. Dang. Oh, okay. This is the Skynet defense system. So you just on your own now. You don't win solo from the band. No, they won't. Dang. If you are hiding, we will find you. This is legit. I've. Oh! I don't like knocking. The American government has fallen. Machines executing and enslaving humanity. I'm not gonna lie. That that gave me goosebumps. I ain't gonna hold you. This is the final message from the United States government. We regret to inform you that America has fallen. Oh. Attempts to remain in shelter have failed. Mass executions are currently occurring in all major cities. The president and his cabinet are deceased. 
Yo! citizens to seek near military groups and make their way as far away from all major cities as possible. We are sorry for not being able to protect you. May God be with us all. Goodbye. Them playing the national anthem in the back? Oh! Russia. That's Dutchland. That, Rush. That's the German flag. The United Kingdom has collapsed? Your family is deceased? No trace of human life remaining in Russia or third world countries? So they're like, everything is gone. Like they wiped out every freaking country, bro. This next one is called In the Walls by Urban Spook. Let's get to it. Oh, yep. Okay. Starting early. Corey Beck, age 11. Margaret Brett Beck, age 11. 10 days ago, the Beck twins went missing. Five days later, their bodies were discovered inside an abandoned paper mill factory. Uh, that's not good. It's not good. However, the state of the bodies were found in a gruesome condition. In what way? Only the upper body of Margaret and the lower body of Corey could be located. They were s the twins' bodies had been sewn together in a sloppy manner. Ew. The rest of their bodies have still not been found. They got eight. Simple. Margaret's neck and jaw was broken in several places. Dang, man, who did this? The cartel? The clay brick had been violently shoved down her throat. Ew. The word meat had been written on the brick. Corey's genitalia had been removed by pulling force? Oh! He had been dared by two of his friends to spend an hour in a remote cabin near Tiger Lake. Why would you... Why would you ever do that? Allegedly, Corey went inside alone with his digital camera while his friends waited outside. After just four minutes, Corey ran out screaming that he had seen a face. According to his friends, Corey's left arm was badly bruised. While investigating the cabin, police found a wardrobe connected to a crawl space inside the walls. Uh-oh, Corey's camera was found on the floor inside this open wall cavity. This is what was on the camera. Okay, brace yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Brace yourself. I don't even see none. Oh, there's more. LeBron James hairline. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh, that felt that one in my heels. The face is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Corey and Margaret Beck. You don't think. If you see this person, please contact Nine. Yeah, that number. Yeah, y'all do that if y'all so please. I ain't that gangster, trust me. Last but not least, we've got Detective Jeff Alberson's tape 1998 by good old Basswood County by Dark Mind. Let's get to it. Did I say by Basswood County? I meant to say in good old Basswood County. During the investigation of one of the victim's houses, Detective Jeff Alberson found tapes recorded by Redacted. The police scanned the tapes and found recordings of the victim's rooms before breaking into his house by the anomaly. Police also found a sketchbook that belongs to the victims. These were the drawings inside of it. Ew! Who is that? What is Adam Sandler doing here? Oh, God. So I'm guessing these are the tapes that were found by Jeff. Okay. Hello? Oh, uh, Siri, stop. Ooh. Uh... Ew! What are you staring at, mate? Oh, okay, never mind. What is with 
with these. All right, y'all. It's all for the day. Appreciate y'all for sticking around, dropping by, watching these with me. Um, if you like this, drop the list, like, subscribe for more. Peace.